Welcome to today's video, where we will explore the astonishingly beautiful nests created by birds around the world. From intricate architectural structures to uniquely crafted nests, we will witness the talent and ingenuity of these feathered creatures in building their remarkable homes. Are you ready to discover the wonders that bird nests hold? Let's dive right in. A bowerbird nest. Bowerbirds are known for their unique courtship behavior, which involves the construction of elaborate bowers. Male bowerbirds meticulously build and decorate these structures to attract female mates. There are different types of bowers, including maypole bowers made of sticks and avenue-type bowers with vertically placed sticks. The male bowerbird collects a variety of colorful objects such as shells, leaves, feathers, and even man-made items to adorn the bower. Each species of bowerbird has its own preference for objects used in the decoration. These bowers serve as a display of the male's creativity and resourcefulness, and females visit multiple bowers to assess the quality before choosing a mate. When the female bird arrives at the male's home, it twirls and joyfully hops around to display the beauty of the nest. It performs an enchanting courtship dance, showcasing each item carefully selected. This continues until the female accepts, and they both join together in this nest. The bowerbird's nest is solely for courtship purposes, as the actual nest for raising their young is built by the female. It is shaped like a cup, constructed on an empty patch of ground or on a branch hundreds of meters away from the courtship area. At this stage, when they are no longer living together, the female takes on the responsibility of caring for their offspring, while the male busily engages in constructing the courtship area, alluring other females. Weaver Bird Nest to weave a home, to woo the girl, to start a family in the trees. This is the life of a male weaver bird, champion textile designers and indefatigable quarters. There are over a hundred species of weaver birds, mostly in Africa and Asia, most of which build intricately woven nests. Home building is done exclusively by males hoping to attract a female. Depending on the species and available building materials, nests may be constructed with plant fibers or twigs. In a pinch, the resourceful weaver bird will also use string or twine. Grasses are often preferred for their pliability and reliable abundance. One nest requires about a thousand strands. The nest begins with a single strand knotted to a branch with beak and claw. After that, the technique is just like any other weaving pattern. The strands are threaded through others at opposing angles. From the first knot, an entrance is built. The aperture is important. It must be large enough for the birds to enter, but small enough to restrict predators from entering. The ideal design has a long tube that connects to a chamber, which will optimistically serve as the nursery. When the nest is complete, the male will announce an open house by fluttering his wings. He invites a female home and hopes she approves. If she does, there will be eggs in the nest within days. If she doesn't, the nest is usually abandoned. A male will often make multiple nests over the course of the mating season. Sociable Weaver Sociable weavers are endemic to southern Africa and build some of the most spectacular nests of any bird. They construct large permanent nests on tall structures such as trees or telegraph poles that are big enough to house over a hundred pairs of birds. The nests, which are the largest built by any bird and look like massive haystacks amongst the trees, are made from soft materials such as twigs, dry grasses, and other plant material and sticks may be positioned at the entrances to deter predators. 
European bee eaters breed in southern Europe and parts of North Africa and Western Asia. They build their nests by digging out a horizontal cavity in the sand of a river embankment, using its bill to drill a hole and then burrowing through the sand with its feet to create a tunnel up to a meter long. At the end of the tunnel is a nesting chamber where the bee eater lays up to seven eggs. Both male and female excavate the tunnel and European bee eaters are one of the few European birds who have nest helpers. These helpers are usually sons of the breeding pair or brothers of the breeding male that have failed to breed earlier in the year and help with feeding the brood. Bald Eagle The bald eagle, a sea eagle found in North America, is the national bird and animal of the United States of America which appears on its seal. Bald eagles build the largest nests of any living bird. Both male and females build the nests which are sited in tall trees and constructed from interwoven sticks lined with grass, stalks, moss, and feathers. It can take up to three months to complete the nest, and as long as the pair have been successful at breeding, they will return to the same nest year after year. Eurasian Penduline Tit the Eurasian penduline tit is the only species of its family to be found outside Africa and it is widespread across Europe, although a rare vagrant in the UK. Eurasian penduline tits are one of the most skillful nest builders of all European birds, forming structures so strong that they have been used as purses by the Maasai in Kenya and as children's shoes in Eastern Europe. The male bird begins the construction of the pouch-shaped nest by attaching plant fibers and fluffy seeds to the tips of willow or birch trees, which the female will help him complete. Hummingbird Nest Hummingbirds are known for their agile flight, vibrant colors, and unique characteristics. One of the most intriguing aspects of hummingbirds is their nesting behavior. Unlike other birds that build nests in a fork or crevice, hummingbirds prefer to build their nests directly on top of a branch. Hummingbirds are known for their unique nesting habits, and females are responsible for building their nests. These tiny birds typically build their nests on slender branches, which often descend from deciduous trees like hornbeam, oak, birch, poplar, or hackberry. However, sometimes they can also be found nesting in pine trees. <laughs>